Hey everyone, Zero Jade here with the X-Play Fans Channel. This is Guacamelee 2, the great sequel to the original great game, Guacamelee, of course. Uh, this is set seven years after the first game. Uh, of course, at the end of Guacamelee, if you haven't finished it, uh, you are one, you are a normal dude, then you find the Mask of Power, you have to save the world, all that kind of normal stuff. You save the girl, and then you get married, you have kids, all that kind of fun stuff. So now it's seven years later, life is kind of normal. You go to buy avocados for uh, guacamole. And uh, it doesn't go as well as you uh, think it would. Uh, you get to the store, these giant black boxes appear. The goat guy from the first game comes and says, hey, something bad has happened in the darkest timeline. They go to the darkest timeline where Juan here didn't win. In the first game, he died. Uh, the world is not saved. Uh, and this guy Salvador is seeking out these relics to, no joke, find where a god has made an infinite supply of guac the perfect guacamole to heal himself. Yes, it sounds crazy, but it's awesome. It's really fun. I'm actually just in the first temple here, uh, the Jade Temple. I'm looking for one of the three relics. So far, uh, this is very much a Metro Metroidvania game. Like the first one, you're unlocking abilities that let you progress and stuff like that. So far, I got my normal punches. I can roll... I can now I can do a rooster uppercut, which breaks uh, red blocks like these here. And then to my left, you can actually see one of those little uh, eagle things. I have an eagle boost. If I hold Y, it lets me go with those. But we're gonna go with this little cutscene because this is the guy that Salvador has sent here to find the relic. I guess these are his hench chickens. I'm not sure, but this guy is awesome because he thinks everything is a play in a stage. It's great. Well. Earlier when I came into a room, these chickens were talking to each other. It was pretty great. Aww. So these, these chickens are... Yeah! So, so far, this game has been a lot like the, the last one. Lots of platforming, lots of luchadoring. So if I go over here, hit Y, I go, wee. Uh, you lose all your powers, of course, from the last game, uh, but you're collecting money to, uh, I'll show you to do that later, but you're gonna slowly get your powers back, I assume. Earlier, they did the thing, like in the first game, where you switch between the World of the Living and World of the Dead. I can't do that manually anymore. That was a skill in the original game. If I actually hit select, I get my map. I get my world, and then I get these skills. Uh, there's different trainers here. Uh, some of them I have not met yet, but I actually have enough money to go over here and actually buy a extra bar of stamina. So that's now been added there, and of course, uh, the farther down I go, I have to get more chests and stuff like this. Uh, this is one of the bosses, I believe, from the first game, if I remember correctly, Flame Face. And the upper left, I got my heart containers and my energy containers, which are up here. Those little yellow capsules are how I use my stamina moves. And then of course, next to the, above that is my blue health bar. And that's it. This is Guacamelee 2. It is very similar to the first one. So pop him. And of course, these were recently introduced, these little boom, boom, boom. And of course I can dodge through attacks and stuff like that. I hear. I don't know what's making that sound, but they sound hilarious. Oh, there they are. Yeah, come to me. Oh, we got hit. But uh, yeah, this a lot of this stuff has just, just been introduced in this uh, temple, and I'm excited to see what else gets brought in later. I picked uh, early on in the game because a lot of this game was really fun seeing the crazy stuff you unlock. Like, at one point, you could turn into a chicken in the first game, and you go through little tiny holes and stuff like that. Oh, well, here we go. This is perfect. Bam. Those are the Cho-Zo, Chuzu, or C-H-O-O-Zo's. So this is one of the goat men who's been helping you. Oh, oh gosh. So I'm getting wall jump now, it looks like. I don't know why things are exploding. Hmm. That seems unnecessary. Yeah, you even lose your wall jump. And of course, uh, you can always use your uh, rooster hit to get some uh, extra distance. 
And I'm not actually, um, I'm not actually, what's it called, uh, pressing to the direction of the wall. It's just auto doing that. So I hang select and I need to go up. And they're really good at like very clearly pointing out like you can't be here yet because you do not have the skill needed. Can I roll through those? I bet I can. Yeah, I can. Oh, yeah. If, I, if only I was skilled. So a lot of times this happens, uh, the area will seal it off and it's a lucha match. So I gotta get right past you. And during combat, I'm hitting X a whole bunch of times, launching them, stuff like that. If I hold up an X, it launches them. Uh, if I get a Y prompt, it allows me to uh, grapple them. Oh, I'm almost dead. Wow, I was not expecting that. All right, we'll try this again. So if I hit Y, I'll grab them and I can actually like smack them into other enemies, smack them into a wall. So I can grab them here, launch them with Y, bam. If you played the first game, this will all be very familiar to you. And of course you got your combo going. And at the end of everything, pinata. So which way do I need to go now? Let's go to the left. Oh, this guy has a... Uh... There it is, he, got, he has terrible body puns. Uh, earlier, he raised his hand to say, let me give you a hand. It was very terrible. So let's go up. Because that looks like critical path. You never go to the critical path. There we go. That's what I wanted. So I can't actually get that. But this is how a lot of the uh, chest areas have been. Uh, sort of platforming little things to do. Oh, I missed that up. Of course, while everyone's watching, I'm going to choke. There it is. Oh, look how good I am. And of course, the, the checkpoints have been pretty good so far. Just my incompetence. Oh, man. Uh, there really, well, I do remember in the last game, there, were really, there was a point of like, hey, this is really hard until you actually like get pretty good at the combat. I don't remember if this uh, specific ability was in the game. All right, that was my, okay, I see what my issue was. I, oop. Luckily, a lot of these areas, uh, you don't actually have to, um, dang it. We'll, we'll leave that for later. Oh, well, nope, nope, I guess it's gonna happen now. But I'm sure you can all identify with the uh, one tricky uh, jump area in every kind of Metroidvania game. There it is. Wow, really? That's a terrible checkpoint for that. Nope. I'll make it sooner or later. Oh. That'll just make it that much more rewarding. My thing, I think my issue is I'm hesitating. Oh. Alright, we'll just go back. Oh well. There you go. All right, bye chest. I think that's, that is a heart chest, so I can always come back later. Nice part is that'll mark it there on my map, so we can always come back later. Uh, there is fast travel. You unlock these stone heads and stuff like that. Oh, oh. oh I can't dodge him, I guess. Oh, well. Oops. I keep trying to use the B button to gain extra uh, leverage. died and then if you die you just get warped back here keep moving 
Uh, you can, of course, throw enemies into, uh, things. Uh, a lot of the times I've found that it is so much easier just to smash someone into a, uh, obstacle than it is to actually murder them myself. Killing enemies also gives a little bit of health back. But again, if you played the first one, you enjoyed it, you will 100% just dig this game. <laughs> There's goop on that one, so I, I bet I can't go up it. Lucha. So I wonder if I just kind of wait here. Bye. Yeah, if I kind of just wait here, they'll all just kind of... Oh, it's not going to let me, is it? Also, you can dodge in the air. Not sure why I didn't pick up on that earlier, where I, what I couldn't uh, do that. Come here, you. Got him. And then we move on. Oh, pinata. So, but uh, other than some of the weird combat uh, abnormalities, I'll like. Uh, there are definitely times where I'll just like just destroy a group of enemies, and then the same group of enemies will just mess me up later. Oop. Uh, I will give a piece of advice. Uh, do uh, the dodge a little earlier than you th actually think you have to. Also, if you've never seen an actual uh, luchador match, do yourself a favor and look that up because it's like even if you don't like wrestling, it's pretty great to see. Yeah, just smash that guy. Ha ha ha! So this is this is one of the teleporty heads. So if I wanted to, like ba ba ba, sweet guacamole. I can take you somewhere else, and he'll just warp me to one of these other spots that I've already visited. Yeah. But, uh, that's Guacamele 2. Uh, I enjoyed the hell out of the first one, and I'll probably play a chunk of this one as well. Uh, I am Zero JD. This is the x -Blade Fans channel. I'm going to launch this guy in the air. Uh, so far, I have not been able to suplex anyone. Or uh, reverse suplex someone. But uh, games can't be perfect, can they? Uh, thank you very much for watching. This is the x -Blade Fans channel. I'm going to grab this. And bam. So now that's three. Booyah. I now have four of those little dots, so everything's fine. Oh, uh, there are certain enemies that can only be killed if you use a uh, like a certain attack. They have a certain glowing aura, and you'll encounter them. It's essentially the same, like red for rooster uppercut, stuff like that. But uh, thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day. Check out our other videos. I'm going to keep playing this, actually. Uh, have a nice day. Bye.